baseball here on the show. Today it's Grapefruit League action between the Pirates and the Detroit Tigers. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our spring training coverage of baseball on the show. Let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. As manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. Man here, and with that, let's take a look at the defense for the Detroit Tigers. It's brought to us by Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Line hard. Foul. One out, nobody on. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. Oh, that's just a nice play out there in the corner. You know, with most guys, this is a sure double. But he might even have hit this ball a little too hard because they can get it back into the infield quickly, and that's going to hold them to just a sink. Here's a look at the starting lineup for the Tigers now. Austin Jackson as he'll step up to get things kicked off in the bottom of the first. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. And he pumps the fastball by him here, 1 and 2 now. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's kitchen? And he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> you aren't going to tie a guy up any better than that. Jose Iglesias comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Uh, he's going to want to keep that pitch down a little more. Day game, ball will be jumping, so you've got to keep that ball in the park. Miguel Cabrera will get his first shot here. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Corey Hunter will. Now a swing and a miss, and Torrey set down for the first out of the inning. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. And that's in there, base hit. Andy Dirt will get his full three and two. Uh, you don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. And whoa, off the close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. I'm saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. I gotta tell you though, complaining like that is only gonna squeeze that strike zone a little more. So two men are on with one man out. And that'll bring in the second baseman. And he did just that. Now both runners are breaking. Swing and he shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Throw on to Sanchez is in time. Two away. Well, this ball just not hit nearly hard enough to get two. Obviously because he hit it with half of a bat. So a nice job there to dodge the remnants of what used to be a big. One gone now for the shortstop, Jordy Mercer. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. 
You see his pitch count here so far. He probably won't get a chance to throw too much longer here in a spring training game. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. Austin Jackson makes his way to the pair, and it's two and one. And at the plate, if you've got an umpire helping you out, no reason to go after a borderline pitch on two and oh. And it just about takes the second base umpire with it as it's down for a base hit. Jose Iglesias will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. And a high strike there, 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Ah, that thing's knee-high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. I love this pitch right here. Just an elevated fastball with two strikes. Nothing much to it. He just says, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Now a curveball stays inside. Two balls and two strikes. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Victor Martinez. Try it again. He flew out his first time. Taken there because... He thought his runner was going to be moved. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Tigers leave one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Anibal Sanchez is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now. Be careful here. This is the National League's reigning MVP. Swing and a hard liner to center field. In there, a base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. Pedro Alvarez will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but. Anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. He's running towards second. Pitch outside the throw. And they will not get McCutcheon here. He's in safely at second base. And later in the game, maybe you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Corey Hunter will stand in. He took home a Silver Slugger Award for American League outfielders a year at its best. And he finally wears him down as he strikes him out after a for a long battle. That was good stuff. At the inning. Andy Dirks will stand in. Foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a slider. Cold strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Ian Kinsler will stand in to lead the Wandy Rock makes his way toward the mound now as he'll appear in his sixth ball game ago. Maybe just because he knew he couldn't hit it. And now here's Kinsler with a drive. High and deep to left field. And that ball is out of here. It looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Take it two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side. Bruce Rondon will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. Jordy Mercer will make his way in as he leads things off here in the Pirates half of the sixth. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And no shot there for Cabrera. It's a fair ball. 
out. This fastball gets on him pretty quick at 96 miles an hour, and he does just about all you can do with it, and that's take it the other way for a base hit. Russell Martin will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now a swing and a drive high in the air and deep to right center field. And that is into the alley. Should be extra bases for Martin. And a relay to the plate. The tag is there from Avila, and he's out at home plate. Starling Marte will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. He'll come home with it. And the runner score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. And this is when you know the stars are lined up in your favor as a hitter. I mean, look how bunched up he was on that swing, yet he still finds a way to muscle that to right for a double. Neil Walker will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Short lead from second. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Ball. Now another one two. On the ground now for Iglesias. This could be two. Kinsler for one. On the first, and it won't be in time to end the inning as he just about did a somersault out there at second base. And with one away, they were hoping to get the double play up the middle. Miguel Cabrera will stride in here to get the Tigers started in their half of the And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Luke McConan is on the pitch now, as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Gabby Sanchez will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been six. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Well, these guys have been high on effort, but low on results so far. They're still stuck on two runs, but at least they've got a leadoff base runner here to start this inning. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Jordy Mercer will come forward now in what could be an at-bat that goes a long way toward deciding this ball game. And they better be careful, too, because they haven't gotten him out yet, so this is no small task. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And it is trouble that finds the gap for extra bases. And a big RBI there as the run scores from second to make this a two-run game now. And that could turn out to be a very big insurance run right there. That makes this a two-run game now. And the way their starter's pitching, he may not wind up even needing it. But at least it gives him a little bit of a cushion out there. So a runner at second, two away. there as this is driven pretty well out to deep right field. And he's turned an 0-2 count into a home run. Starling Marte will get another crack before you even see where the pitch is going to be. I mean, I wasn't even close. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. Brian Morris will come on now and take the ball. Alex Avila will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Down full now. Yeah, he had him in good position here. 0-2 to start the inning. Just can't seem to finish him off. Andy Dirks will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. First pitch coming. 
And that swung on and fouled straight back. Fouled back. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this might be just what the crowd needs to get off their hands a little bit. Last thing you want to do on the mound is hit a guy and have the crowd come to life again. Ian Kinsler. It's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Now a swing and a ground ball. Oh, and no shot there for Alvarez. It's past him a fair ball. another one away and it's still full at three and two now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left booking just fouled by a matter of inches that time on pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here and he was really late on this one I mean really late you can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Austin Jackson stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Tigers strand a pair. They're down 5 to 1. Man is set down to open up inning number eight. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. 1-1 one, one on the way. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here. A solo home run for Pedro Alvarez. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Tony Watson is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Cabrera for the second out. Martinez hit hard back up the middle and that is in there for a two out base knock new pitcher coming on now as they'll turn it over to the former number four overall pick back in 1997 right hander Jason Grilly Alex Avila will get another crack one for three thus far Gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. McCutcheon is there, and that won't help the cause. It's a quick out here to start the home ninth. Andy Dirks will get another shot. Hit by a pitch his last time. And he'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the attempt is snuffed out there as a good throw by Martin will take care of him at first. Ian Kinsler will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. The win here would belong to Wandy Rodriguez if our score holds. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. 1-1 pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. And the throw is high, but he'll be called out at the bag as the first baseman came down with it in time, and the ball game is over. Well, you know, it winds up taking six pitchers to get it done, but they do get the victory in the end, and so that's all that matters.
one more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, the Pirates were paced this afternoon by the efforts of this man, Russell Martin. Strike a pose. He's our two out to it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Pirates win it 6-1. to one.